Good morning. Today is the first hill session of the training block, which I'm not mentally ready for. I feel a bit nervous. I don't know why. Probably because it's the first sort of dedicated workout of the block and it might go terribly. Um, but the plan is uh, I'm at Emlyn Hill on the edge of the Peak District. I'm going to run up it at least three times. Um, it's like a 700 meter segment of hill ish, 700 800 meter segment of hill. So they're long hill reps, so I'm going to try and do them at a steady effort, is the plan. Um, so they're not going to be like sprints or anything. They're just going to be steady effort, hard effort, um, and then come back down for my recovery and then go again. Uh, I'm aiming for three, and then if I've got time for a fourth, I'll do a fourth. So I'm just going to head off, uh, get my warm up done. Um, and then do a little bit of a jog to get started and then we'll get into the hill reps. Right, not a great start, I managed to get lost in my warm up. So, not ideal. It's just, uh, there's some like little hillocks and stuff and I just got disorientated going around them and I got confused about where I was. I don't think I was too far off track, it just didn't look how I expected it to look. So I've not got like my phone or a map on me because the car's not very far away. And even if I get lost around here, I'm not gonna get very lost. Okay, start of the hill rep. Um, actually, I'm not quite there. <laughs> Okay, start of the hill rep, I think because of my fumbling around and detouring on the warm-up. Probably are only going to have time for three. Basically my workout runs are going to take an hour for the next couple of weeks. I don't really want them to take any longer than that. So I just pick a thing and I'll do as much of the thing as I can in the hour. Anyway, long hill reps today. Hopefully... It'll take me like more than five minutes to get up there, which I think it will do because I'm just I'm not going to go crazy. But anyway, let's get started. back down just a easy jog down for recovery um, it's not the steepest hill which is kind of what you want for long hill reps like it's actually a little bit too flat at the top here but We'll work with it. Um, but yeah, kind of a long, gradual hill is um, is ideal for this sort of session. Okay, rep two. Yeah, I think um, three of these will probably be fine. <laughs> I don't want to push it too much in the early stages of the training block. And uh, I had a relatively hard long run effort on Friday because I had a bunch of elevation gain in there. So I think three of these will be just fine. Number three. <laughs> yeah, 
that was tough. Um, those reps have taken me, I think, less than five minutes each. Would have been nice if it was just over five minutes, but I'm trying to, I've structured my training for this block, but I'm just trying not to get in my own head so much about it, like, just, just gonna try and basically be consistent this year, that's all my goal is, just get, get the training sessions in, what mileage I do isn't a factor in my head, because um, if I start overthinking the mileage, it just, it snowballs and it gets quite unhealthy. I'm trying not to overthink the the run workouts too much. Like I'm gonna do them, but it's mostly so I can get used to having the consistency of doing like an easy run each week, a tempo run, a long run, and a workout run. So it's more just yeah, nailing that consistency and getting used to actually running at different paces, because that's something I didn't really do last year. Or the year before. Um I was like way too focused on getting the mileage in and then I ended up just absolutely exhausting myself because I was just running like, I was running too much really, tried to run too far in too short a space of time and just ended up with overtraining syndrome two years in a row. So having the like mixed effort runs is gonna help so much with that because it's not just gonna be the same like monotonous pace where I'm just trying to get the miles in. So yeah, I think it will be a lot better this year. And I have structured my training, so I'm just, just sticking to my sessions about how the actual sessions go. I'm not gonna worry too much. Like I've done my three, three hill reps and that'll be fine next week. It'll be a different hill. Maybe I'll do four. Maybe I won't. Just gonna go with how things feel on the day. I'm not a professional athlete or anything. It smells of gas around here. I'll have to find out who owns this gas pipe because it stinks. Um, yeah, just gonna try and keep it consistent, focus on that, and do all my miles, well, do all my runs based on time, because once I start thinking about the distance, um, just get in my own head about it, and it gets very unhealthy very quickly, so I just want to avoid having that happen again, like it has the last couple of years. I'm just going to run along more to my road a little bit for my cool down. It's relatively flat. I don't really want to faff about with too much elevation change in a cool down. Okay, just turn around and run it back to the car. Legs feel alright. I feel okay. And I generally physically feel okay, which is, is uh, what I wanted for the end of the first week of the training block. I don't want to like time myself out too quickly. Uh, so I've been a lot more cautious, I think, this year. So I'm going to be doing deload weeks as well. Um, roughly every, every fourth week um, for the most part. It's going to be mostly just short, very easy runs. So I think that'll help a lot with just recovery and not burning myself out. But anyway, it's probably enough of me rambling. I'm going to just take in the views across the valley for the rest of the cool down. Um, and I'll be, I should be uploading pretty regularly. 
I'm just uploading like when I have I'm filming when I have things I want to film and I'm uploading when when I've edited the videos <laughs> there's no schedule it'll just happen when it happens um, so anyway I'm gonna get going and I'll catch you next time